What's up guys, Savage Mathor here with a loading belt replacement tutorial. Uh, so I'm assuming if you clicked on this video, your uh, laser displayer is, the tray is not opening. It's a very common issue, especially with old machines like this. So this is the CLD D701, but I know for a fact that the 702 models are just absolutely identical on the inside. So uh, I don't know for the 703s, I would assume they are. And then obviously uh, there's a ton of different models. You have the ones that played CDs and all the different formats, uh, different you know size of discs. So, uh, but I'm gonna be showing you how to replace the belt on something like this here today. So if that uh, is relevant to you, check it out. So the issue is, I'm just gonna show it to you. Uh, for this player here now, I've gotten to, I'm able to open it, it works, but it's not perfect. So let me show you what I mean by that. Okay, it's pretty decent, but you might have heard it at first, kind of struggling, and it's not supposed to do that. It should be instantaneous. It should open perfectly all the way. So what I did is I've already uh, taken uh, the loading belt out of, and I've cleaned it with isopropyl alcohol. And for some people, you know, they've said that that would usually fix it. But honestly, in most cases, it won't. Usually the issue is that the belt is loose because it's too old, it's worn out, and it needs to be replaced completely. Uh, and so uh, you're gonna need the tray open for the replacement though. For, and so if you cannot get it open at all, uh, a little tip is to, uh, it's a very temporary fix though. It's not something I would advise doing over and over, but uh, you've probably seen that already. People just flip the whole unit, obviously power it off first. You flip the whole unit, you shake it left and right, and then you should be able to get the tray to pop open. But this is a very temporary fix, obviously, not a permanent solution. So today I'm gonna show you how to uh, open the whole thing replace the belt yourself it's really not that hard and as far as these belts go uh getting one if you live in the u.s which uh unfortunately i don't i'm in canada but pioneer themselves they still have apparently they have a lot of them still and you can get them from them for pretty cheap i think so if you live in the u.s they'll deliver to you if not i was able to find some on ebay or if you have a little repair shop nearby they, they very much very probably have them so um Okay, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is remove both screws on each side of the unit. As you can see, mine are already off, but just start with that. You have two on each side, and after which you should be able to take the top off first by sliding it like this. As you can see now, there's a separation. Slide it and then remove the whole thing. And then I'll try to assist you with uh, the inside of it. It's pretty straightforward. All right, now that you've got the top off, this is what it should look like. Remember, this is the 701 model, and I know for a fact that the 702 models are the same. And your loading belt is, well, it's hard to see now. So here's the thing. I'm gonna power on the unit. And uh, a lot of people will have you believe that you need to uh, remove the entire tray. What's great about this model here is that there's a much simpler way to do this. You really don't need to. So again, look, look, see? And so we're getting that issue. Oh, and it eventually, again, not good. And some of you, like I said, it, it may not even open at all. That's fine. Just do the uh, previously mentioned trick where you flip the whole unit, you shake it left to right. You should be able to get it to open. Now for the reparation here, uh, we're gonna need the tray to be open like this. At this point, what you can do is uh, unplug the unit if you want to work and, you know, not have this. So, yeah, it's preferable, I guess, to turn it off at this point. Okay, very simple. We're just going to take this piece off. So you got four more screws on top of the, the, the ones you took out already. I'm going to show you exactly which one. This one. And again, right here, this one. We're kind of holding down this this plaque here and then same thing here clamped this one and then again this one which you can see they're very much like clamping down on the thing take these four screws off and then we're going to be able to take this whole piece here out completely and it's very straightforward they're not even um it's not even connected to anything all right i've gotten all four screws out which means that now you can just safely go ahead Take this thing here, be careful, but just take it 
and just gently pop it off. I'm gonna put this on the side carefully, gently. Okay. Uh, do be extremely careful not to drop screws in there because uh, <laughs> that would be a nightmare, obviously, to remove. And now your loading belt, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, right here. Um, it's, uh, well, it's hard to tell, but there it is. That, that's exactly what it is. And this thing here is turning. This is turning. Um, uh, let me give you a little demonstration, actually, since mine is kind of working. But, well, again, I don't know if you saw it move at all, but... Uh, Maybe it didn't. Bottom line is, I'm gonna go ahead and eject it again. And yeah, what you're gonna wanna do, I'm not really gonna be able to show this on camera, but just grab uh, maybe a small screwdriver or a Q-tips or something, but, and you're just gonna go and you're gonna pry that off there. Just remove it and then we'll have uh, our replacement ready. All right, and so here we have it. This is the old loading belt. Um, you know, and at first I didn't think it looked very loose or anything. Uh, like I said, I did clean it with isopropyl alcohol and um, that didn't really do the trick. But then once you compare it to this brand new strap here, which is much thicker and um, a little tighter, obviously, you can tell. So this is gonna have a much better grip. Now, here's the very uh, kind of, this is gonna be the hardest part, is you're gonna wanna go in there, try to show it to you, it's hard, but you know, basically get it around the ring, the plastic ring, which you see there, this one, and then all the way to the gold thing there. So this might be slightly harder. I would, I would not really suggest doing it with a, a screwdriver or anything, like I said, to remove it, yeah, but to put it on, uh, you're going to want to sort of pinch it between your fingers, try to wrap it around the plastic thing, and once it is around, stretch it. And then there. obviously try and make sure that there's no um, twists in the rubber band, that it is like very straight, and uh, that should do the trick. And there you have it. It does look that there's a bit of a twist, but I think it's kind of unavoidable. Uh, we'll see, but like... We'll try, obviously, everything seems to be fine now. Open it again. I'm just gonna let the laser do its thing. And then, okay. So everything seems to be in place. Uh, we're gonna put the metal plate, this thing here, back on top. Again, same holes, same thing. And then uh, we'll give it a spin once everything is back in place and here we are with everything back in place and so i thought i would do a bit of a demonstration just to show you that everything is all good looks pretty good you know zero hesitation it just goes right into it now i can watch my director's cut of scream which is pretty much the only way to watch a director's cut because even though i have it on vhs i have it on blu-ray 4k doesn't matter, pretty much only Laserdisc has the director's cut. Which, you know, it's a little bit extra gore and blood. It's not a huge difference, but let's, uh, let's do this thing. Hooked up to this big, nice CRT. And, uh, all right, here we go. I'll just uh, skip to a scene or something so you can see all is good. Well, we have the opening right here. I don't have my volume on, but uh, anyways, there you go, guys. Replacing the, uh, sorry if I talk too much. Uh, that's the thing also for this video. I was trying not to talk so much, but <laughs> uh, hopefully this has helped some of you. And um, yeah, that's it, guys. Enjoy. Laser discs forever.